morning, our friends. It's Angelina and Dima from Broken Energy World. It's our day four of Tour de Canigou Trail. We had quite a peaceful night here in the forest. We found a very idyllic camp spot where it was very warm. The trees were protecting us from the wind and it was the most flat spot so far on the trail. And as you may see from our faces, they look much better than yesterday. We slept much better, so we are ready to hit the trail. And as we have only two days left of the trail, until we'll be back to the village Castell, they will have to do probably around 16 kilometers again. Further down the trail, probably it will be similar to the last day, with a little bit of elevation gain up and down. We'll see it as we go and we'll take you along with us. Let's go! There is nothing more important than a good sleep. You realize it right away when you wake up with a clear, uh, fresh, light head instead of the heavy one and you have a boost of new energy going. Also a good night is when your alarm takes off and it feels like you went to bed just a minute ago. So you didn't notice how you passed the night. Then it means you slept well and deep. So yeah, today enjoying this kind of mood. I wanted to ask you guys what kind of tree this is because yesterday we've seen several trees like that of huge size like the trunks were like <laughs> enormous and they look so wonderful and beautiful but we don't know what type of tree it is we just wanted to know so if you know please leave it in the comments We think that this forest is full of life and so rich in fauna because we've spotted ibex, roe deers yesterday, signs of wild boars, also there may be, you know, like foxes and some predators, small ones, all the kinds of birds like jackdaws, woodpeckers and some owls we heard at night, so this is like such an amazing environment for them to live and we think it's great for anyone who likes to observe the animal's life or take some photos or just be in such magical space. Yesterday when we found that ideal camp spot and today when we spent such a quiet and peaceful night in it reminded us of the fact that we appreciate the trail even more in such moments and there may be some bad days when you don't feel at your best and you feel broken apart and nothing goes the right way and you may get discouraged by that but then there is another day and maybe just the opposite when everything goes just smoothly and you are so happy with the day so it's just very important to remember that and keep going and know that even though there may be some bad days or some inconveniences on the trail but it is all worth it when you spend such amazing moments in nature or just enjoy yourself These kind of trees are so huge and it feels like they know all about life and they, you know, they live it all and <laughs> you feel like nothing in front of them. They're just so wise and, and big. We love them so much. So 
So far the first several kilometers of the trail we are climbing gently uphill. We already did 300 meters up and we have 400 more to go. But we will be enjoying the shadowy paths and hopefully it will continue the same way. Now we see that it goes up to refugee and it's like the forest clears up a little bit but maybe that's because of the elevation there is less forest obviously but yeah that's gonna be much harder for us in such hot sun to mm. go up we don't know exact weather forecast for today because we don't have internet access there is no signal here only cell phone signal but for now we see that it is a beautiful sunny day right now and we think till the afternoon it's gonna be the same then you never know the mountains how the mountains are the clouds can appear out of nowhere and can be storm or rain we don't want to think about that just right now and well let's continue the trail We met the cows on our way, they were going backwards and now they're going the same direction as we go because maybe they think we are shepherds or something, especially with my trekking poles, they're just like flying away from us, oh, this is really funny. We are doing the circle now around Canigou and turning this way. The Spanish border gets very close to us right now, somewhere here, going over the mountains. Obviously there is car roads and tunnels, but yeah, this is really cool that you can see kind of part of the other country as well. We just wanted to say how easy the route so far was, climbing gently uphill, going around the mountain, like on the level more or less. And now we see this steep us downhill again, like the same as we, maybe the same as we've done yesterday. And it killed our legs, so absolutely, especially knees. But the trail goes this way and we have to do it. Now we just checked our map and yes, that's true. Now we have to go down in the gorge to the river, like 400 meters or so. And then we have to unfortunately climb up till the same level on the mountains that you see in front of us. This is how the trail goes and there is no other way around. But this is the most daunting part of the trail, definitely. Today's lunch we have a real feast because we were able to buy some tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, nuts and also some ice cream and chocolate in the nearest refugee San Guillaume which turned out to be really nice where we can buy at least something so for us very important for resupplying and wow well, this is just wonderful gonna eat now
trying some ice cream now. I think it's from real milk. <laughs> it's amazing. So we had our lunch, very great boost of energy. And now we have to go uphill, 170 meters. Don't know how it's gonna be challenging or not, but we're all ready for it. Now there is a little bit of the wind coming away and you see the clouds appeared on the sky. Not sure if it will lead to something more serious or no, hopefully not, but we'll see that and we'll have to keep going. this bouncy and soft feeling of walking on the dry leaves. It's such cool and so soft. So we did our last uphill for today. It was quite easy, quite long, you know, around five kilometers, but an easy gentle climb uphill. It wasn't too tiring, so yeah, but we're getting to the end of the day. Now we have to go only 200 meters down. Hopefully that will be all for today and there we'll find our camp spot for tonight. And yeah, this is such idyllic, peaceful path we went through, again through the forest. It was just perfect. finished our day now, arrived to the river, now we're going to search for the camp spot. We see that the terrain is quite difficult, very hilly. I think it's going to be quite difficult to find a place, well, but we have to hurry up because we see the clouds in the sky and, you know, it may be raining sometime soon. Today was another beautiful day, very shadowly idyllic pass in the forest, so we enjoyed it a lot. And wanted to say about the marking, that it's been quite good. Uh, the yesterday and today and it's like we see that it's a fresh paint so this is really really nice you don't have to worry about you know searching the map or you know many times it's just very very easy to understand today we didn't have much of elevation change which is also nice so it hasn't been such a tiring day but tomorrow actually is the most one of the most challenging days for us would be because we're getting back to Castel. It's our last day on this trail and we'll have to do around 700 meters up and then 1000 meters down, which is like a, a huge difference, right? So it's gonna be quite tiring, we think, but we think we'll be able to do it. We, we need to do it because then, you know, the weather changes and we don't know how the conditions will be, right? So yeah, so this is what we have 
and well this is all for today and we'll see you tomorrow in our last day so stay tuned for the next episode guys now we'll be finally trying out our wood stove which is the little one with the different system than the previous one that we took on jar 11 and yeah and finally we have time and powers to do that so now we're searching for some dry wood and some moss which is like this one is the greatest one for you know setting up a fire so then it should be working just fine do you think this is a complete fail we don't know maybe because it's a small wood stove which is weird we gathered all we could like the dry grass and moss and you know tree branches all dry but just doesn't want to or it needs a lot of wind now we're checking the theory that maybe our mistake was that we just installed it on the ground instead of the rock and there wasn't any air passing by underneath the wood stove we think because it needs a lot of air obviously and wind is very beneficial we think now we see that it the fire is better and it's more stable. We hope so. It obviously can't cook our cereals today. It can't put up enough fire to boil our food. And we think, well, it's too small. We just can't boil water on it, which is like crazy because on the big one we could do it very quickly and on this one it just takes so long it's just been an hour with it and you know nothing works we set up it on a rock and well it still like works but not to the extent that we need it to now it seems like a fail but we need to test it out more well after two hours the wood stove was still able to cook it but it was just like so tiring and long process that we won't repeat it again we think definitely and yeah but it looks so delicious now we have our mix of wheat buckwheat lentils our usual spices mix dry mushrooms and now we'll add our fresh tomatoes so yeah very hungry now Thank you so much for watching, leave a comment below to let us know how you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Also visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Have a beautiful day everybody and until very soon!